Morning to you, Ada. Thank you for coming in. Good morning, Harriet. So, uh, the price is uh, looking any good. Of course, inflation figures uh, were out on, on Tuesday and we saw it coming in very high. Also, for the uh, food sub index, it grew from about 9, 10% to 11.3% year on year. And we still see commodity, domestic commodity prices at an all time high. Well, it's no surprise that inflation figures were actually high, you know, like most analysts uh, anticipated. Because of just uh, generally, if you see the food index, it was mainly due to imported inflation it was one of the reasons as to why uh, the food index uh, increased as it was. And you see um, there was an increase in bread, uh, vegetables, uh, fish and cereal. So this led to uh, the increase in the food basket as well. In the core index, um, you have other um, factors, just uh, for example, electricity, uh, liquid fuels and books. So this led to the increase of uh, um, items in the core basket. So um, generally, we will still expect food prices to continue its upward trend pending any um, development in especially addressing the currency, um, addressing exchange rate and the currency issues because it seems like most of these companies or traders or market women are factoring in the constraints, the massive stress they go through into the cost of these products. So is that the reason why, according to this uh, data from FDC, we see beans is up for 25%, for that's for a yes. 50 kilogram Be bag of beans, up 25% from 20,000 20, to 25,000. And Oloin, what Oloin is that special beans, the one that tastes as if it uh, has honey yes. in it? That's so not, I said 3,000 naira, that, that's, not, that's not particularly funny. Oloin is the most expensive, it's about 30,000 naira now, and Olotu, it's about 25,000 naira, from 20,000 naira. Uh, rice as well, the lowest, the cheapest actually is 10.5, and the most expensive is as high as 14,000 naira. So it's actually quite ridiculous. I mean, in, it's quite it's quite surprising as to you know what food prices out there are going, and it's it will begin to affect we the consumers because if you have a certain amount of money you've spent or you've put aside for consumption monthly, and food prices literally take much more percentage as it used to be. I mean, other aspects of your life will begin to uh, suffer because you're spending more money on food. And like I said, we don't have any increase in wages and some people are being sacked, no jobs because of the you know, general global, uh, global headwinds it, uh, and Nigeria as well going through some sort of um, problem. So yes, it's, it, it's quite interesting as to what food prices are seeing out there. Yeah, but then you also expect in the coming months for prices to moderate so what will happen do you think there'll be probably an adjustment maybe in forex uh, forex you know rationing for instance that might begin to see a tapering mm -hmm. of of this high prices for food items so the mpc meeting is coming up um next week uh, i'm assuming they will focus on what is happening right now in the country which is exchange rate uh, which is interest rate and other you know uh, problems so if that is if that is addressed or if there's some sort of clarity or certainty as to you know where the currency is going we expect that to um put i mean cushion food prices going forward and again there might be consumer resistance if it prices are too high consumers will or must look for substitute as to because they cannot continue to consume or buy this product at you know record high levels and um yes i i, I believe february is the peak february might be the peak but March, if these issues are not um, dealt with or if these issues are not underlined, it might drag on onto uh, March. Okay, and a comment on this uh, Nestle result that we saw coming in. Are you impressed with the top and bottom line of the, of the company? For Nestle? Yes, Nestle. Well, yeah, I mean, Nestle uh, saw uh, an increase in its revenue and its profit uh, after tax, uh, mainly because of um, the increase. Well, there was an increase in, in its operating cost. However, there was an increase in revenue. So, well, uh, well we are quite impressed as to uh, as to what it is. And cocoa prices. I know Nestle is one of Nestle is one of the major importers of, of cocoa. I mean, they produce a lot of um, uh, cocoa products. So, yes, I'm, I'm quite impressed with with Nestle's results. So we saw revenue coming in at 151.27 billion Naira, profit for the year, 23.73 yes. billion, and they're proposing uh, a dividend of 1,900 yeah. Koba, that's 19 Naira. 19 Naira so yes. investors yes. Yeah. should, uh, well, because we've seen that, you know, that's equity taking mm -hmm. a hit in the last couple of days, and according to your analysis, mm -hmm. week on week, we saw it unchanged at 619 Naira. Yeah, today it is down about 19.80%. Yeah. So do you think this, um, this result might help improve investor sentiments towards this equity yes it will okay um, like you said the
Then is 19 and Naira per, per share, and the interim was about 10 Naira per share. So total dividend is 29 Naira as, uh, compared to 27 Naira uh, last year. So it's, it's quite good. It's, 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 it's quite positive. So, yes. On a global scale, um, sugar, there's supposed to be like a global deficit in sugar production. Sugar prices, we expect prices will continue to trend higher because most industry experts, especially Bible Bank, believe that the supply demand gap between sugar. I'm sorry, the supply demand gap is widening. So do we expect a global deficit of about uh, 7.4 million metric tons as opposed to, so it's, it's, th 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 there is a weather constraint, especially in major producing regions like Thailand, Brazil, El Nino. It seems like El Nino weather is still affecting uh, production in those uh, regions, Thailand, Brazil, China, and India. So that's why most of these uh, industry uh, experts believe that demand will literally surpass uh, a consumption going forward. Ada, thank you so much for coming thank on you. the program and giving us that perspective. Uh, of course, Ada Konobi is an investment analyst with financial derivatives company, giving us uh, a look at what's going on with the agri-commodities, domestic prices for some very staple food, including beans, rice, gari, and uh, maize are on the increase, and hopefully that should taper off before the end of this month. We'll keep our eye on those numbers. Uh, Business Morning continues in just a moment. Join us again.